Joining us to talk about the significance of today's news, Michael Levy, a senior fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations here in New York. Mr. Levy is an expert on nuclear proliferation and arms control issues. Thank you for being with us again. Good to be with you. You know, whenever Iran makes announcements like these, first of all, how concerned should we be? And then the second question is always, does this really mean that they are that much closer to a nuclear bomb? Iran is slowly progressing to a stage where it could move quickly to a nuclear weapon. Its test of the nuclear reactor is not all that relevant, though, to that progress. The nuclear reactor was the focus of U.S. policy during the 1990s. But for the last several years, everyone involved, including the Bush administration, now the Obama administration, has come to the conclusion that that's not where our attention should be primarily aimed. It should be at the enrichment program. So that's the more significant piece of news. We know Iran is expanding that program. Uh, we know that it is giving it the capability, if it decided to do so, to move toward a nuclear weapon. Well, we, we understand the situation. Mm -hmm. The problem is we don't know how to deal with it. When you hear uh, of the number of centrifuges going from 5,000 to 6,000, how significant is that? What's significant is the continuing progress, that Iran doesn't look like it wants to stop, it wants to continue going ahead. The actual numbers, 5,000 versus 6,000, don't fundamentally change the threat, but the trend is what's worrying. Mm -hmm. Does it speed up the process? It speeds it up a little bit, but the fundamental thing here that's going to control the pace is political decisions in Iran. Does Iran want to go all the way to a bomb, or does it want to stop short? Does it want to negotiate? Uh, who's in control? Those are the big questions that will determine the speed, not so much the technical dimension right now. The Russians have been uh, at least instrumental when it comes to building this nuclear power plant here. Uh, the question is, why would the Russians want to be involved here? Is it strictly a matter of money, or are there other perhaps geopolitical reasons involved? Money is a significant component here. This is big bucks for the Russians, and it has been for a long time. But there's no question that the Russians also enjoy frustrating U.S. ambitions in the region. They want to have good relationships with as many countries there as they can. And this helps them build that. They are a friendlier country to Iran than most other powerful countries in the rest of the world. And that's a valuable thing to them. They don't see a threat. They see some threat, but they think it can be held under control. And they see the payoff to what they're doing, at least in the near term, as more than outweighing whatever downsides might exist. Michael Levy, thank you very much for talking to us. My pleasure.